and welcome to Sports and Mercado Live. And this one goes out to the ultimate Dallas Cowboy fan. That's little Ethan Robinson and also Blacks down in Grand Turk. That's Kirkley Parker. And also me daily having a good one. If you're looking for Enos Stewart, Minister of Sports, she here in Freeport, okay? Oops, I ain't supposed to say that. Grand Bahamas appearing to host a major regional sporting event. And also the first time is coming to Grand Bahama this weekend. Let's go to Sabrina Brown for more on that. The 37th Latin America and Caribbean Little League Congress will be held at the Pelican Bay Hotel on Friday and Saturday, and local baseball officials are excited. District Administrator for Little League Baseball Bahamas District 1, Eddie Klott, says baseball is on the move and the Bahamas must be a part of it. Little League Baseball and Softball, along with our Challenger Division, will be discussed. Our Challenger Division is some of you might not know, is geared towards those challenge in life. Any questions about the rules and regulations will be discussed for 2015, and those amendments that have been made through 2015 that will come into effect for 2016 will be discussed. Congress committee member Brian Hanna says this is a significant time for baseball in the country. It's a weekend for, for our kids, for, for our Bahamians who enjoy baseball, who love baseball, to be a part of this event. And they got the information that is going to be employed here into the, into the Bahamas here is going to be something to look forward to. We're expecting some 52 delegates from around the regions, from different countries, that stemming from, yeah, from the Bahamas into Jamaica, right down to Venezuela. I think Ecuador. Senator Tanisha Tynes endorsed the event. It is the starting point for great things for Grand Bahama. For not only Grand Bahama as an island, but the people of Grand Bahama, because this is where we will put our best foot forward in showing that the members of this Congress, showing them that Grand Bahama has the facility to hold tournaments and also host meetings. Sabrina Brown, ZNS Total Sports. Well, Abaco uh, School's basketball championship is now over, folks. Central Abaco Primary School defeating St. Francis de Sales 37 to 35 for the title. Marlon Sims 20 points in this one. Essie Boodle Junior Boys of Abaco Central uh, taking that one 45 38, and Mark Anderson at 14 points. Abaco Central won the Senior Boys title. They defeated Agape Christian School 76 45. Bertram Mims 20 points, and also uh, the Senior Girls Championship. It was Agape Christian uh, defeating Essie Boodle 29 to 27, and also Dugan. Uh, uh, had a good one, some 17 points, and then Agape won it, 35-25, and again, a good one there for Haranique. She had 20 points, and congratulations to her. Now, let me tell you the 16th Hoyt Geneva Rutherford Girls Basketball Tournament. That actually uh, is underway. It started right today over there at the St. George's Gym. Let me tell you, it is going to be junior and senior girls play uh, with uh, teams from Abaco, New Providence, and Grand Bahama Heated Competition. In town for the tournament is let McPhee McEwen, women's head basketball coach, University of Jacksonville. Uh, the opening ceremony is set for 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. It'll be live on ZNS3, 8, 10 a.m. That is thanks to Bahama Rock, and the kids are going to be running and playing basketball. The girls are, as the boys got Hugh Campbell. They will be at St. George's all weekend long. Way to go. <laughs> That's a look at your sports tonight.